Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Memories of Malta. I'm on a roll. Tonight, um, what I'm going to make is one of my absolute favorite Maltese dishes, which is a stuffed vegetable marrow. Now, it's stuffed with um, minced meat and some spices, and it's cooked in a broth. And this is called Arabali Mimli, which means stuffed Arabali, or a stuffed uh, vegetable marrow. Now, there are two versions of this recipe. One is a filforn, which is baked in the oven with potatoes and onions, and it's equally as good. But this is probably more my favorite. So, guys, um, stick with me on this one. Um, it's, it's not really difficult to do. Just it's maybe a little time-consuming. Um, but you'll be rewarded with amazing flavors. So sit back. I'll be right with you and show you what we're going to need to make Arabali Mimli. Hey gang, I'm back to show you what we're going to need to make our Arabali Mimli, which is our stuffed vegetable marrow, which is these. If you've never seen vegetable marrow before, it is like a courgette or a zucchini. Um, as you can see, it has kind of like a variegated white and green color. And they do come shaped like this. They also come quite large. And they also come um, kind of like round, like almost like uh, anywhere between a, a small ping pong size to maybe a big baseball size. So what we're going to do today is we're going to stuff these. So for our stuffing, what you're going to need is some kind of minced meat. Now traditionally it calls for a minced beef and pork or a veal. I'm trying to keep my diet more low fat. So this is actually a minced chicken. Um, what you're also going to need in the mixture is some Parmesan cheese. You'll need some garlic, sea salt, pepper, and maybe a little bit of tomato puree or tomato paste, which is called conserva in Maltese, and some parsley, which you are going to finely mince. Now, as far as the broth goes, which is called brodu, um, the broth will consist of, again, probably about a, a tablespoon of conserva, tomato paste, a chicken bouillon cube, obviously water to cover. Um, you may want to add some pepper and some salt to taste, depending on how salty your bouillon cube is. You're going to need a couple to three ribs of uh, celery and a couple of carrots and about a cup of frozen or sweet or fresh sweet peas. Now, I love peas, so again, it's, it's your taste. It's your kitchen. You can add more peas if you want. Um, I'm going to see how this looks, and I may throw some more in. Um, so that's basically it. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to be right back to show you how we stuff the marrows, the vegetable marrow. And you guys, you got to try this because it's really, really healthy for you, and it's packed with flavor. Okay, guys, be right back. Stay with me. All right, so what I have here is our um, arabali, which is our vegetable marrow. And what I've done is I've cut it in half and I've hollowed them out, as you can see here. Now, if you have um, a quite large one, um, you can cut right from the top and hollow the whole middle out. Or if you have the round ones, you can um, just cut the top off and then hollow it out like a, like a hollowed out ball. But these ones seem to be a little bit oblong. So what I'm going to end up with is um, eight of these like kind of like little cups. Okay. So I'm going to show you real quick what I did. I've washed these and I've taken the stem off, leaving the flesh still on here. So I've just cut my arabali in half. And if you can see, there's like a natural um, circle in there. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. Okay, there it is. So with a very small spoon, like a, a dessert spoon, um, and it's not hard, just poke it in and go around. I hope I'm showing you this. Go around the flesh of the arabali. Don't go too close to the edge and start hollowing it out. 
Now there's some recipes that will call for you um, mincing this up and you know um, sauteing it and adding it to the to the meat mixture. I don't because I simply find it's mostly seeds and it just waters down your mixture. Like to me this is like eh, it's garbage. You don't really need that. What you're wanting is the flesh of the arabali. And like I said, these ones are kind of small um, as well. So, so there you have it. So I'm going to continue doing the rest of them, and I'll show you um, what we do next, which is obviously stuff them. Hey friends, welcome back, and I have started to stuff my arabali as you see here and just and here's my stuffing uh, and I love parsley so I tend to add a lot now some recipes may um, ask you to add an egg to bind it um, you can see the texture of your mixture if you need it or not I don't normally need it um, I think with adding the parmesan it kind of binds it so using the same little spoon as I said I'm gonna go ahead and stuff another one for you to see you know just a little bit of at a time Make sure you pack it down there. I mean, don't like pack it till it's like, you know, really hard because then it will get tough. But there you go. And I like to put just a little bit more on the top and kind of round it off. Oh, sorry, am I not showing you? There we go. Okay, so that's it. I mean, we all know how to stuff things, really. So I'm going to continue um, stuffing the rest of these here, and then I'll show you what we do next, which is um, to go ahead and start making our brodu, which is our broth that our arabali is going to cook into. All right, guys, I'll be right back. See you soon. Hey gang, I'm back, and what I've done is I've just lightly sauteed one onion in a bit of olive oil with one clove of garlic. Now, this is optional, but I just happen to like um, onion and garlic in my brodu. So, to this, I'm going to add my celery. Now, I'm not in my kitchen, so <laughs> it can be a little tricky and my carrot. Now normally I would probably give this an, a little um, saute like just a couple of minutes but it's all good. Alright so <clears throat> I have my celery, my carrot and my onion in here which is kind of a classic um, combination to be quite honest. And to this, um, what I'm going to add is some boiling water. And again, when I make a soup or something, I always add boiling water because I find that it steams you up. No, I find that it just speeds up the process. Okay. Whoa. Sorry again for the angle. Lovely. Now, I realize that this is quite um, full, but it's going to reduce down because what we're going to do is set this to a boil, and then we're going to add our arabali. So, um, I do have my heaping tablespoon of conserva, my tomato paste, and another good reason why you should add boiling water, because then this thing's just like, you know, melt. Okay. So what I'm also going to add to this is our chicken bouillon cube, maybe a little bit of salt. Um, I'm going to taste it later when it's um, boiled and some um, ground black pepper. And um, now you can add, if you wanted, a bay leaf to this, which I may do. So that's it. Our brodu is, is pretty much done. And like I said, when it's um, come to a boil, I will continue to um, put in the stuffed arabali. All right, guys, stick with me. I'll be right back. I'm just going to put this back on the hob, get it to a boil, put my chicken bouillon cube in here, 
and a little bit of pepper. I'll taste it later for seasoning. If I need to add salt, I will. Stay with me and I'll show you what's next. Hey y'all, welcome back. My brodu, my broth for my Arabali Mimli is um, done. Um, I might have added a little bit more tomato paste than I normally do, but that's fine. It's still, you know, kind of clear. It's not completely red. And you know what? The taste and smell is really, really good. So it came to a boil. Um, it reduced, and at this point, it would be on your stove top, so it would be on a gentle boil. And then what you're going to do is you're going to add your arabali in there. And don't be afraid; they won't they won't uh, break apart on you. Um, just pop them in. And there you go. And here's another. And I'm going to continue to do this, and I'm going to put it back on the stove. And then, guys, when we're back. I'm, it's all done. I'm going to show you um, what the final result is. Okay, so thanks for sticking in with me. Um, the Arabali Mimli in the Brodu is just about done, and we'll be back shortly. Thanks, guys. See you in a bit. Hey, guys, I'm back real quick just to um, show you that the Arabali, when you put them in, they're not going to fall out. The stuffing will not fall out. As you can see, it's already cooking in the hot broth. In the hot broth, um, one thing I forgot to add in, obviously, is the peas. So they're also gonna go in at this point in time. And oh god, I love peas, so I might even add more. I don't know. So this is gonna go back on the stove, and the next time you guys see it, it will be all done. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll be right back to show you the final product. Hey guys, welcome back. Our Arabali Mimli is done. And um, this is fresh off the stove, so it's quite hot. I'm not going to poke around in here. But they are done. They're stuffed. I, I'm going to try and show you. Mm, okay. Our brodu, our broth, is so beautiful. Um, we have peas in here. We have carrots. We have celery. Um, and the aromatics are just so wonderful. I can't wait to eat this, which I'm going to do right now. So you guys, try this. It's really easy. Um, <laughs> the ingredients don't cost much, and it really goes a long way. Guys, I've said enough. I want to eat this now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Memories of Malta. Ciao for now.